What's going on y'all, Attorney Tom here. In today's video, we are gonna be reacting to Code Blue Cam's video titled, Woman Gets Caught Swatting Walmart to Avoid Arrest. I am joined with Kurt from Uncivil Law. How's it going? Let's jump right into it. All right. Sheriff deputies responded to a residence to attempt to locate two individuals who had warrants in Toma, Wisconsin. 34-year-old Kaylee William Schaller had a felony Monroe County warrant and a Jefferson County body-only child support warrant. Her boyfriend, 34-year-old Justin Garbett, had a Minnesota probation and parole warrant and another one through Anoka County Sheriff's Office. Deputies were familiar with both of them from previous contacts and were aware Justin visited the address often. While en route, a deputy advised Kaylee was inside the house but hadn't come out yet. Yeah, I can see her moving around in here. 17 Giving her a couple commands to come out. She's verbally talking with us but has yet to exit the building. Deputies could see her pacing in the house and talking on the phone. They informed her she needed to exit the home and that she had a warrant for her arrest. All right, so far what we have according to the narrator is we have an arrest warrant for two different people so they can lawfully go to any place that those people might be found. They have reason to believe that these people can be found at this address based on past contacts. It's during daylight hours. They seem to locate the people at the place. So, so far, so good on Fourth Amendment land. So, Kurt, are they just being courteous and knocking on the door? Could they forcibly enter the house if they wanted to? Yes, they certainly can. They have an arrest warrant for the person, and they can arrest them anywhere that they can be found. And once they've identified that that's the person, they can enter the building. When asked if her boyfriend Justin was on the property, she told them he was in Minnesota. Justin's gone from mom's funeral. While waiting for Kaylee to open the door, Dispatch received a 911 call from a female uh -oh. stating her daughter called and told her a man with a gun had entered the Toma Walmart. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaks out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. And how did she know? How did she see that? Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... Open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? Hi. What are you Hi. doing? Are you... Yes, what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you I'm wearing? here talking with, with her. Come on in. Don't the door open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. we got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh. I didn't go sign my familiar, Tom. You are suggesting that she made this phone call to 911 about the person in Walmart while the police were outside her door? That does seem to be what the, uh... Just hold the mic. Hold the mic. The mic. That does seem to be the suggestion, Tom. It seems like the voice on the 911 call is somewhat similar to the voice we're hearing on the body cam, so the juxtaposition suggests they're one and the same person. Yes. So was she thinking that they were suddenly going to get this notice and then leave her house to go and inspect the Walmart? That seems to be the idea. It's like, let me create a reason the police will abandon this call to give me time to escape or something. I'm not saying it's well thought through. Kaylee appeared to be agitated and nervous as she tried to gather information to post her warrant. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Okay, okay, okay. Just... Just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know John. If you forget about your warrant, does that make it? Uh... Doesn't really help. No, that's uh, kind of on you when you have those responsibilities. When they say you must pay by date X, they're not kidding. And once the police show up to arrest you, might be a little late to pay that bond. So yeah. Dispatch advised the deputy that the number that called 911 was associated with Kaylee. Of course it was. When he requested dispatch to call the number, he observed Kaylee's phone go off, but she quickly declined it. Did you call 911 a few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay. Do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in... My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say, if I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. Oh, no. Kurt, what's the best thing she can do right now? Shut the hell up. Shut the hell. 
shut the fuck up Friday. That's the best thing she can do. They don't know. You got to shut the fuck up and it's shut the fuck up Friday. Yeah. Stop talking would be the best legal advice. Just please stop talking for the love of God. And it's, yeah, it's not going great. At our dispatch center received a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun. I have no idea. What? Mm -hmm. I have no idea oh, that, no. Getting ridiculous. no. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called, because okay. you called from this number. While we were here, you were inside and refusing to come out. Yes. Okay, you were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Which I have. Why, why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. Okay. Uh-huh. again, are any of these excuses going to help her? No, absolutely not. No, I didn't do it. If I did it, it was accidental. Oh, I, I, I was told it. By whom? Yeah, this it's not going great, Tom. Let's see if she can turn it around. I'm sure. okay. Remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. Here, I was on the phone and you with knew Justin. The police were here. And we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. Why did you call nine one one and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun? Probably because I was panicking. Okay. Do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not. know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we're I, just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of Test. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're in the middle of getting arrested for something else, do not make it worse for yourself. Maybe not committing new crimes by faking a SWAT call at your local Walmart will really help your future defense attorney. Maybe don't do that. That would be great. You know, like, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911, and I was going to say something, and then I was talking to my daughter on the house phone, and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay. Does that show the recent calls? No, it doesn't do anything. That phone sucks <laughs> i'm not worried about the the phone working i'm more concerned with the fact that you called 911 yes, to report idiot. that somebody was at walmart with a gun okay that elicits one a large amount of resources to respond to a place two it's a false police report okay yes you're inciting panic yes okay and yep. three, it's a crime. I'm sorry, I didn't. Yep. I don't even remember doing it. That's okay. You may not remember, but the 911 call certainly does. Allegedly, if they can prove it. They can, I think they've got it, Tob. So you don't remember dialing 911 and then talking to a dispatcher? I have it on my call log. When Kaylee showed her call log, the deputy saw that she had just called Justin while they were on scene. This is my boyfriend. Is that Justin? Yeah. Okay. So 125, you talk for four minutes? Yep. Okay, so go back. And then at 1.30, so five minutes later, a full right five minutes. as soon minutes, as I got off the phone. As soon as you got off the phone, you made a one-minute phone call to him, to 911. She continued to fidget around and look out the back window at the small shed. The deputies received permission from the homeowner, Kaylee's grandmother, to check the... Okay, so very interesting. At the beginning of this video, they said that there's a person named Justin who is the alleged swatter's boyfriend. Uh, Justin also has a warrant out for his arrest. Kaylee's grandmother, the owner of the property, gave permission for the police to check the back shed. Kurt, why is the permission uh, relevant? So when it comes to doing a arrest warrant, you can arrest them anywhere that they can be found. But the arrest warrant doesn't give permission to search. So in order to do the arrest, you already need to know where they are. So they need permission to go look in the shed to determine that he's there in order to conduct the arrest and by getting permission from the homeowner and sense how we get past the search warrant issue. Hey, is, is Justin in the garage? Car? No, Justin's not here. Mm -hmm. Do you think Justin's in the garage? I think Justin's in the garage, Tom. Let's find out. I'm positive. His... Give us permission to check the yeah, property. Yeah, you can check the garage. He's not here. Ding, Assisting ding, 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 deputies ding. were clearing the backyard when they you noticed a power cable running to the Tom, shed and was said. locked I from the that. inside. Hmm? Yeah. 
That back shed doesn't open! Well, can you follow me outside so I can smoke that short at least? No, we're gonna sit right here until they get back in. 10 for just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back and it is locked from the inside. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. So in my personal experience being a lawyer, one of the most important things in the legal world is this concept of credibility and um to put it lightly she doesn't have very much credibility right now so um i don't think the police officers are going to believe uh anything she's telling them with respect to the back shed justin and i were in an argument this morning and when i was in the garage when he said his dad picked him up and he left what do you mean his dad picked him up i thought he was in a different state didn't we cover that earlier uh-oh inconsistencies my friend let's find out there's a light on in there too. It's like a little lantern. On this door's locked from the inside, and there's like a bed in there. Who lives in this back shed? Austin Jones was the last one back there. Austin mm -hmm. Jones Austin. is he currently back there right now? Because the door's locked from the inside. I have no idea if he's back there now. He was supposed to come Austin this morning. Jones. We've got a shed back here that's locked from the inside, and the property owner gave us permission to clear all of the buildings. Again, that's very important. The property owner gave permission to clear all the buildings. So even if somebody is living in that back shed, and that is their place of residence. Because the property owner has given permission, there is no potential issue with respect to the Fourth Amendment. Hey, Austin Custer, and he's got a warrant. That's who Austin Jones is, his alias. Austin, you in there? Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Justin, look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn Get around. on your knees now. Get on your knees. Jillian. Justin lied to me! Do you think Justin lied to her? I think that she knew exactly where Justin was. I think she knew that he was in the back shed the whole time. Guess we'll never know. God, why the f*** you don't f lie to me all the time? Why is such an honest person as she is surrounded by liars all the time? It's so hard to tell. You would think being such an honest person, she'd be surrounded by honest people. What a shame. So right now, I'm just going to put your phone on the table. I'm going to be standing up. Okay, walk over to me, face the window, and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll just go like that, and I'll bring a sweater. Probably one of the few. Grandma, I have to go, Grandma. I have to go until Jefferson clears my warrant. It was paid. I showed him. I paid it and everything. Justin was hiding in the back shed. He was back there now? Yeah. You can ask my grandma. We were fighting this morning. Okay, so to recap, she made a bad situation a whole lot worse. She added additional felony and misdemeanor charges to her record because, um, uh, because she's not smart, okay? All right, that's it for today's video. Bye. Big Verdict.